All right, guys, settle in, strap it in, get your seatbelts on because this video is about to be straight fire. Let's go. Before we get going, we want you guys to go straight down below and check out the app MindSport. It is an app made by athletes for athletes on your mentality, your visualization. You got meditation, yoga, if you want to try that stuff out for your recovery. All that stuff is there. There's a ton of free content, and we are going to try and squeeze their arms and get you guys maybe 20% off of their paid content. The promo code for that will be Golarami, so go and check that out. For those of you that have signed up to Golarami Nation, congratulations for joining the nation and the movement. Everything that we got going on there is closed for now for everybody. But if you want to get on the waiting list and if you want to join Fight Club for footballers, all you got to do is go to goalarmy.com, put your email in, and we'll let you know when we open it back up. All right. All right. So it's been just over a month for those of you that have taken the Goalarmy Decides Challenge. So the first question you have to have in your mind is how are you doing? All right. This is not going to be one of those other challenges where you make something on January 1st of a new year because you're feeling good and you're feeling hype and you're feeling motivated and you're going to say, this is going to be my year, bro. And then you do nothing. That's not what we do. That's not what Golarami is about. All right. So we're here to remind you, if you took that challenge, if you pressed the button, send comment, if you said this is going to be it, then we are here to hold you accountable to that. All right. But the truth is that we can't really do that. You have to, right? So if you are part of those people that went in that first video, and if you haven't seen that video, we'll leave a link right down below. Or we'll put it right up here. How are you doing? Because that's all that matters. You should already be seeing signs. That doesn't mean if you said, I'm going to go play at Barcelona, I'm going to score 50 goals or whatever that is, that you're already at your final destination. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you have to be seeing already changes in your behavior. Changes in your attitude, changes in your mentality, all right? But that's why we're here now to take an assessment, a reflection, something that's very important for you guys that are trying to get better, whether you want to be a pro or you just want to have more fun in the game. If you guys literally set out for the goal to say, I want to have more fun, which is perfectly fine as a goal. I want to have more fun while I'm playing. It sucks getting nutmegged all the time. It sucks losing all the time. I hate that I that my touch sucks. All those things are you can improve on them. And that's what this is about. If you've come a long way, then that's great. Then you you maybe need to assess how much further you can go, set a little bit of a higher goal. But I'm gonna guess that for the majority of you guys, you got excited about the goal, you got excited about the new year, and you're thinking, this is great, I'm gonna do something, but maybe you haven't put something in place, we're gonna do that right now. So now that we know how we've been doing, what we've been doing, we need to have an actual action plan. What we're gonna do, how we've done it before, can we improve on it, all those things optimizing, that way we can get better from day to day, all right? So what that looks like is on a very base level, are you going to training? That's how we can start. Are you going to training? If yes, good for you. All right, that's great. Are you staying after training? Are you going a little bit before training? No? Can, can we can we put that into the schedule there? Five, 10 minutes, 15? How much can you, how much are you willing to put into achieving your goal? I wanna stress once again, we are not telling you guys to overwork. We're not telling you that that is the, the way to do it. Train seven, eight hours. I've seen some of these ridiculous videos. A guy trained for 30 hours. I don't know where I saw that, but what do you mean you train for 30 hours? Who cares? How come, it, how come it took you 30 hours to get trained? All the top clubs aren't training 30 hours. What do you know? It doesn't make sense, all right? Efficiency is what we really want here. So some of you might be thinking, what is it exactly that I need to work on? Well, if you haven't analyzed your games, whether that's looking at your videos or actually thinking about the games and thinking about your mistakes or thinking about the things you did really well in that game, you won't know what you should be working on before and after after practice. Most likely, I'm gonna tell you, the answer is gonna be some sort of fundamental. It's gonna be some sort of technique. It's probably not gonna be bicycle kicks. The easiest way for you to get better is to repeat and be persistent on the mistake that you notice. You need to really have a good, hard look at your game. And even if you've played well, you need to understand, all right, this is something I can really do much, much better. And you guys, you take one week or five trainings all right, and then you do those things over and over and over again. If you do this and you apply these things in this, you will look back and you will not believe how far you've gone. We have seen it time and time again for the kids that message us and actually take it seriously, that they just say, I really appreciate what you did in the 21 day challenge. I took it seriously. I did that stuff. I did it over and over and over again, and I'm better. End of story. Analyze yourself, analyze your games, find exactly what you're doing wrong, 
and then work on that for one straight week. Dream a little or dream a lot, but know exactly why you are doing this. Have you asked yourself that question? Why are you doing this? Because some of you might not be showing up to training because you don't care. And maybe you don't want to play. I don't, I don't know. I can't answer that question for you. So have a, have a real deep look at yourself and say, well, if I do care, why am I not doing this? You know, or why am I not taking the time to train after, after practice? All right. So we need to have a real tangible idea of why we're doing this and where we want to go. And I'm not saying that you guys can't dream for Barcelona and dream for Madrid or dream for whatever it is that you're your club is and all that stuff, but we just don't want hazy dreams. I don't, I'm going to be the greatest player. Of the, that's hazy. I don't, how are we going to define that? I, what we want from you guys is something that you can set for yourself that we're going to look back at this year or this time, you know, or these few months and say, wow, I went from here to there. Okay. So set a dream, set a high dream on the long, on the long end. All right. So if your dream at the end of this year is to win that championship, if it's to play, play that goal, if it's to, it's to sign a pro contract or if it's to get invited to national team camp, whatever it is, put that, let's get that there. Write that down. All right. Write that down. The only thing I want you guys to comment down below is goal or Amy decides. I want you to keep your thing for you. I want you to write that down. If you're watching this, and you cannot write it down, then it's possible you don't care enough. Write it down and just put it in a place where you'll see it. Stick it in your pocket. Just write Gold Remy Decides. That's gonna come to represent for you something that actually means I'm going to do this. I made the decision to do it and I'm going to do it. Every time you see that, every time you hear that, when you have friends that are thinking about that, talking about that, when you see this Gold Ramey Nation sign, it's going to be a reminder for you of why you're doing the thing that you're doing, all right? Because if you can't write it down and you can't look at it again, guys, life happens, things happen. This is over here, friends wanna go over there, you know, I wanna play a little basketball today, I wanna play a little hockey tomorrow, whatever it is, all right? So know why you wanna do it, Take two seconds and write down exactly what you want. Sign it, Golaremi decides, because we are gonna build a bridge from here to that point where you can be happy about receiving exactly what you want to achieve. It's, vi yes, we're talking about visual. Is he, was Will talking about visualization? Yes, he's talking about visualization again. And as you guys know, we at Golaremi love to give you action steps, love to push, love to be at the top of our games always. All right, and so we're gonna push you guys and make this a bit unique. If you are taking this challenge, I have homework for you, all right? And it is a very unique because the point of this is we want our subconscious mind. Just like when you guys, when you go to walk, when you go to take a sip of water, you don't think about that. Your brain, it does it, it just does it. And just like when you're playing, if you guys are having to constantly worry about how to take this touch and the ball is bouncing up on you and all that stuff, you'll never be able to do any of the advanced moves that look so fun that everybody loves watching Neymar and do all this stuff. Well, he doesn't have to think about dribbling. He doesn't th have to think about receiving the pass. It just happens. And if you guys want things like that to happen for you in the game, You've got to make sure the fundamentals and all that stuff is working perfectly. And you have to visualize yourself being able to do those things. So the homework that we are giving to you today is you're going to go to sleep. All right. You guys are going to go to sleep tonight. You do it every night. Most of you that don't play FIFA, because first of all, <laughs> I would crush you at FIFA. I will crush you at FIFA. All of you. Anyway, so those of you that go to sleep at night at a good time if you're not going to bed at a good time probably try at least at least get your sleep all right this is just a, a small psa to say get your sleep all right before you go to sleep we want you guys to think about your actual the thing that you have written down you guys might have a million things going on in in your world but if you're if you're taking this challenge i'm going to assume that this is important to you at least enough for you to be still watching this video all right before you go to sleep you have only one task if you guys can do this at least, at least for seven days, if you can do this for seven days, I'm going to start to believe you care about what it is. And this, once again, like I said, this does not have to pertain to football. We are very happy here at Golarami if this helps you achieve something that you really want in your life because you can apply everything that we have said here today, analyzing, figuring out what you want to do and using this technique right here to just get your mind thinking 
Get your subconscious mind thinking about the thing that you actually want. Because you guys, you can fill your brain with a bunch of nonsense on TikTok. I'm not saying it's all nonsense, but you guys know exactly what I'm saying. If you start scrolling through Snapchat, through Instagram, through TikTok, they're just throwing things at you and many of that stuff you don't need and it's not helping you, all right? It's filling your brain and it's that, that stuff is running like code in the back of your brain. Well, how about you take control of that? That's what Goal Ramy Decides is about. So before you go to sleep, you have a second to think about if it's a goal that you want to score, have a second to feel and think what that is actually going to be and feel like. What would it be like if it was real? If you were doing that right now, that's visualization. And if you guys haven't checked out the podcast with Jim Aframo, we talk about the mindset that Messi has, visualization techniques and tactics, and so much, so much more. That is, he has studied champions. That's what he does. All right. Steph Curry, all these just insane names all right so please check out that podcast we'll link it down here or down below but that's it ideally you guys can do this for 30 days or at least until we come back here in march and say what's up how you doing if you've been able to carry it that long you've probably already seen results so i don't really care at all i actually don't give a shit how big this video gets because some of you are going to get it and those of you that do it will be life-changing for you all right so your task before you go to sleep, read your thing if you already know it, but you should have a second and really believe and feel that that thing is happening now. What does that look like? Repeat it over and over again. Repeat it over and over again. That's what you're going to go to sleep to. That's it. You do all the rest of the day. You do your stuff. You do everything normal. Do whatever it is before you go to sleep. You just get that going. Just get it going. If you want to go for extra credit, put some music on when you're walking around. Think about that. Get it going. Just get that train moving. If you can do that, you can start to move. Your environment. Your environment is everything. I just told, I was just on another podcast and they asked me about growing up and one of the things that, that changed. Well, when I was in the U14 national team, we took a trip to Mexico. All right. So this is a crazy thing when you start to think about it. There's 300 million people in the country and there's, a, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of 14 year olds playing the game, but there's 18 of us and we're somehow they've figured out that you guys are good enough to, to represent the whole country. We're going to send you guys to Mexico, go play against some, some really good Mexican guys. So you go do that, right? We play the trip. All right. Uh, maybe in another podcast, if you guys want to hear stories about youth national team, stuff like that, comment down below. We'll do that. But when I got back from that trip, because I had been playing with 14, 15 other guys who were at the top of their game. When I came back to my club, who was state champion and full of great players, the gap was huge. Not because I myself was this super huge player, but it's because of the environment that I, I'd spent time in. And so this next thing comes, can you guys find an environment that is going to help make you successful? Because I didn't have to do much. I just had to show up to training then. It was all done for me. And that's the same thing that happened when I got a chance and I was 16 and I got the chance to play and train with Sporting Kansas City, who's my eventual uh, club in the MLS. You just have to show up. They're all so good that I just soak everything in, you know? So if you're playing with guys who are not good, I'm not saying you need to leave your team, but you can find some, some extra games. You can find a pickup game. You can find anything where you can actually get better. And that means watching different games, watching better games, all that stuff. Okay. Your environment is huge. And that's not just in the football world. That's also in who you're hanging out with. Are the people you hanging out with, do they want you to succeed? Are they not on the right path? And you guys know this, you can you get a little feeling in your stomach. Like that guy's, that guy's probably not doing the right thing. I probably shouldn't hang out with that dude anymore. Like I don't get a good feeling when I hang out with guys, cut that, cut those, cut those people out. All right. At the very least, if you can't cut them out, at least ignore their comments, ignore that stuff. There's no way around it. All right. People will say and do things that you don't agree with. And people will say and do things that probably are meant to try and keep you down. So your environment is key to that. If you can find an environment that is going to lead and help to your success you've already made your life easier so search for that all right guys that's the vid make sure to check out our podcast that we have going on on the 11th commandment if you enjoyed this video everything we have on the 11th commandment you will enjoy and you will benefit from so go and check that out leave us a like subscribe comment down below and we will see you guys later peace golaremy.com go now
young influence, adolescent presence, I'm succumbing to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete ejected, but the moves elusive, and I'm barely moving. But I'm still gonna boost them. I can't work on winning.